Hello, this is your Congressman Michael Burgess. Well, what a difference the will of the public makes for public policy in our democracy. This past week, we undertook important action to repeal the unworkable Independent Payment Advisory Board. The public remains alarmed over the control that Congress asserted when it forced the President's health care law through and thereby created the Independent Payment Advisory Board. IPAB would become the aloof arbiter of health care for seniors who depend on Medicare. House Republicans wanted to save Medicare. The President wants to save IPAB. With Republican management of the House of Representatives, Congress now has the means to rethink and perhaps repeal the bill of goods that was sold to them in the health care law. Just think of it this way. The popular electronic device, the iPad, was also sold to the public in late March 2010, and two years later, this week, there is a new reworked iPad. Now, in all candor, I cannot compare Mr. Jobs' iPad to Mr. Obama's iPad. It's certainly true that after two years, the iPad costs the same, but healthcare's iPad is designed to explode in cost. Now, as a doctor, as a member of Congress, as a patient in his 60s, I am offended by the Independent Payment Advisory Board. This board is not accountable to any constituency and only exists to cut payments to providers to create a mathematically tar created target. The board throws the government into the middle of the sacred doctor-patient relationship with the power to influence prices, reimbursements, and most importantly, access for patients. If Apple can think different and rework the iPad after two years, Congress had certainly better rethink the Obama iPad. More resources for your information are available on the Health Caucus website, healthcaucus.org. The Health Caucus will continue to highlight the way forward in healthcare. Also, please visit my website, burgess.house.gov. May God bless you and your family, and as always, may God bless our Texas.